Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Just BSing. And this right here is the gold label Panic in the Sky Brainiac. As we know, this was only offered through the McFarland Toy Store for the Superpowers Wave 7 bundle. And true to Brainiac's nature, he's been causing chaos for everyone who ordered him, but he's here and we can take a closer look at this guy to see if he was worth the wait. But before we get into the unboxing and review, if you haven't seen our most recent video of the rest of Wave 7, which featured all of the other figures, Go ahead and check that out in our Go Figure playlist. We'll link that down in the description, or you can click somewhere up there over over Is Chris. It over here? I, think I think it's over Chris's that, shoulder. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you can click click to go directly to that video right there. So with that out of the way, settle in, get your favorite frosty beverage, hit that like and subscribe right now so you don't forget, and let's unbox and review Brainiac Gold Label. Right off the bat, we have some. Pretty cool, as usual, pretty cool superpowers packaging here. And we can compare it with the original skull ship. Looks like it's about the same size, slightly bigger, slightly bigger, just very ever so slightly, not much. Um, very hard to tell. Very hard to tell. Take a look at all around. It looks very, very cool. And I know a lot of people aren't a big fan of this particular Brainiac, but we talked about it in our Wave 7 video. We, we love this guy. I like the colors. I think it's uh, got a little bit more of a sinister look. He's got, got the green arrow beard, the goatee. <laughs> it was the typical like 90s, you know. Absolutely. Of, uh, everything Absolutely. was goatee. That's how you could tell that they're evil. Yeah, it's, it's exactly. If you were a wrestling fan, as soon as someone would started growing a beard, you knew they were about to turn on, on their partner or whatever it was. Well, well, you think about it. Every show did it like a goatee is being evil. You know, uh, Legend of Hercules. Mm -hmm. Hercules, uh, the evil one, had a goatee. Yep. South Park, they yep. all had goatees. They go all had goatees. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a good one. That was good. So, so the goatee is the... The, standard, the staple, man. The standard evil. You gotta, you gotta have a goatee if you're gonna turn evil. This is the first time I believe that, yes, it is the first time that within the Superpowers uh, line, they have included a figure with a vehicle. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how this is packaged up and we will show you guys that. Typically we fast forward through that a little bit, but we will actually show you the unboxing of the figure here. Let's go ahead and do that now and see how he's packaged. Oh, there it is right there. Right on the side I opened up first. <laughs> Bam, right there. Love that. I dig it. That's pretty cool. Now we will fast forward so we can put this thing together and you don't have to watch us struggle to do something that a five-year-old could do in 30 seconds. <laughs> we'll be right back with this fully assembled. And we've got our special edition skull ship and gold label Panic in the Sky Brainiac out of the card. This is very cool out of the package. I really, really like this a lot. I like that solid black outfit. I like the addition of the cape. This is the only version I think that he's ever had a cape. Yeah, as well. I believe I believe you're right. Yeah, he's got it's like very Dracula style with yeah. the collar on it. I, I dig it's that. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He does not have his tiara, uh, and yes, we have committed to calling that a tiara. I, I know it's an interface and or circuits. But no, we are we are now. <laughs> we're sticking with it. We're sticking with TR. This is the Brainiac TR that we all know and love. So we can compare the two figures here. I mean, color color scheme wise, not that much different. Uh, it's got similar colors. So the full black outfit on Panic in the Sky versus the trunks on standard Brainiac. Pink is on the cape versus the shirt. No white. No white in the uh, Panic in the Sky Brainiac. He's got more silver. Yeah. Silver color scheme. Uh, but otherwise. A nice little difference there. I, I'm I'm digging digging the difference in in the two figures. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot. Maybe it's because this is reminding me a lot of the black suit Superman. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> Maybe same that's exact what it color is. scheme. Yeah, yeah, silver and silver and black. So I, I like that a lot. But yeah, it's just this little metal protecting helmet. You know, he's just mm -hmm. got to be careful because if he dents it, then you know his part just is not. It's gonna just be not right. gonna. It's not gonna sit right. <laughs> it's not gonna sit right. <laughs> no, I like this character a lot. Though. This is how, of course, I remember from Panic in the Sky. Right. Um, dig the cape. That's pretty cool. It does still give him some of that purple, like kind of a throwback to right. uh, the Silver yeah. Age. Uh, yeah, I guess that age. is. It is a little bit more. It's kind of pink purple. Kind of like yeah. a pinkish purple. Yeah, it's yeah. a little more pur on the purple side than this one shirt. So definitely dig the character, but I really love the color the scheme sh the of ship. the ship here. This ship is amazing, and we can compare <laughs> it to the original. So again, it's a, it, it is a straight repaint, but the way it's painted is just amazing. And I think you know, if we ever get a Lex, if we ever get a Lex, you put Lex and Brainiac together, create that Lexiac combo that we that we love from the comics, and that fits for Lex <laughs> Luthor as well. 
that color scheme. We can get a closer look to how these two compare in their ships, respectively. And I think it's I think it's definitely worth having both. And to you guys who did not get a chance to order this, I'm sorry because I don't know if they're going to put any more back up on McFarland's oh, side. I doubt they're, it. <laughs> they're sold out currently. They had so many problems with. I, I believe it was a parts issue. For, or whatever reason, that's what the rep told me when I called to find out what was going on. They said there was a parts delay on the gold label Brainiac. Delayed things by, they said two weeks, it was more like three. We just got this a couple of days ago as of this recording. So I don't know if they're gonna have any more. I don't know if they're gonna have any more. I hope they do. I hope they do, especially for those of you who did not get a chance to pick one up because I imagine the scalpers are gonna be out in force just like they were with Reverse Flash and Black Manta, and still are. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. It's gonna be that exact same type of scenario. So yeah. I can see it too, and I, I dig this one. I like this one, I like, I like it a lot more than I, <laughs> the, the regular I think I, I think this too. one's very cool, but I just like this one a lot more. Maybe it's just me being nostalgic. Yeah. <laughs> and remembering that type of story and reading the comics and having that, but I don't know, I just like this one a little bit more. I agree, I think. I. It's, it's hard, man, because they're like this one's so much like this is the classic throwback right. first appearance, yeah. mm -hmm. Silver Age style. Super and this Friends is still kind of like uh, his colors now, or the, the ship colors. Right. That's what he does more now. But like if you, and if you didn't like this Brainiac and wanted to pair this ship or a ship with your Kenner Brainiac, this is the one to do. Yeah. Because it looks, I mean, that's the same, the same head, same face. But this just stands out so nicely. I really like this. Uh, we're gonna give it our patented Just BSing rating. I'm gonna kick it off. This is a so good. Yep, yeah, 100%, it's a so good. It's a so good. And we're, <laughs> we're rating this as the figure and the, because it came as a combo, it's just one rating. We're not gonna rank them separately. So now, Chris, you rated Wave 7 a good overall. Yes. And said, when you saw this, you might kick that up. Yep. It, Are you doing that? I am. It's getting bumped up to a All so right. good now because I just really love Oh, that's, <laughs> I, I had a feeling. I had a feeling that might happen. Now, I already rated Wave 7 a so good, so I can't, I guess we could go with the very rare, hardly ever seen on our channel, so, so good. Oh. Um, but I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick, stick, stick oh, with so good. Go. It's still a so good overall. <laughs> this Wave 7 was, just overall a fantastic wave. I said it in the last video, I, I still hold to it. Probably my favorite wave so far. Even with, I think the, the classic Detective Batman and the Black Suit variant are still overall my favorite figures, but as a wave, this one just knocked it out of the park for, for me. No, I agree. This has definitely been one of my top uh, waves, if not the top at least uh, the at least two or three for me so absolutely absolutely <clears throat> well if you if you need a refresher man just for, you know go ahead and go We've watch got our a videos, videos. We've i should got, go watch those got yeah. some videos i have to refresh before we do these <laughs> yeah so <laughs> and and that goes for anyone else out there that would like to watch our videos again please never feel shy to go give those another watch or for you newbies out there binge watch binge watch <laughs> go go in that go figure playlist i mentioned in the beginning of the video all of our mcfarland superpowers videos other action figure videos, they're all in there, and we will be adding to them uh, as, as this wave grows. Now, you may have seen the um, black suit variant and black Batwing Whirly Bat combo pack was just released for pre-order. It's an Amazon exclusive. It was originally listed as a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Oh, okay. When, you know, we got the leak for what was going to be in Wave 8. So it's looking like this actually isn't officially part of Wave 8. It's its own thing and it has become an Amazon exclusive and posted a link to the pre-order for that. That is still active. I just checked it uh, before we started recording. So they have not sold out yet. So if you haven't had a chance to watch that video or you're still looking for that, I'll pop that link down in this description as well, or you can go check out that previous video. Get your pre-orders in if you haven't done it already. And you're still waiting for the rest of Wave 8, or I guess Wave 8 in general, since this may not be part of it anymore. We're thinking those are probably, the pre-orders for those are probably gonna be pretty soon, maybe even this week, so I'll be keeping an eye out for those. And Where are you gonna pre-order from this time? <laughs> That's a good question. That's a good question. So, man. Uh, have you said McFarlane? <laughs> Be, well, so like it worked out so well for Wave 6. Like Wave 6 was the best experience we had had so far. Ordered directly through McFarlane, got everything early. It was it was fantastic. And we had ordered through pre previous vendor, like previous waves through different vendors. Mm -hmm. We'd ordered through Amazon, through Entertainment Earth. Always ended up canceling the Entertainment Earth orders. And I'm hearing from a lot of people, <laughs> there's some issues with, with them, especially for this wave as well, that they're just canceling people's orders on their own and, and saying that, 
they're not going to be making the figures anymore, which has been confirmed by other people that that's not true, that they are still. So whatever's going on with Entertainment Earth, I'm, I'm a little sketchy about that one. I'll probably or pre-order through McFarlane again because they typically offer, you know, other discounts and things like that. Um, Amazon is another good choice, although they were very, very much delayed this time as well. So, um, guys, it's kind of up to you which which direction you want to go. Maybe I'll I'll change my mind when I actually see who's offering what during the pre-orders. And in the video that inevitably we will put out for that, I'll give my recommendation in that one. So guys, highly recommend this one. We, we really like the gold label Brainiac Panic in the Sky style. Again, if you weren't able to get your pre-orders in, keep your eyes out on the McFarland Toy Store. They may restock at some point, hopefully they do. If not, maybe you'll be able to find it at a decent price on a, th a third party eBay or something like that. Most likely you'll be gouged, but this was worth the wait. If you did pre-order the bundle, then you are probably getting these now. I know they're shipping out in waves, so I think a lot of the uh, shipments are going out this week. I'm actually still waiting on one more. I did pick up a, a separate second one just because I figured this might be a pretty cool one and, and a hard one to come by. So I am waiting on one more and I got the shipping notification for it, but I, I didn't get it when I got the, of full the bundle. gold label of the gold play. label. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I've That's got, awesome. got a second one of those coming. Cool. Yeah. I couldn't, couldn't pass up the chance to yeah. get, I usually don't get doubles of the vehicles, but this one had the figure with it. I kind of had to do it. So keep your eyes out guys. If you did pre-order, you should be getting those shipments in soon, or you may have already received them. If you did, let us know what you think about the gold label Brainiac down in the comments. Go ahead and do like you always do for us. Like, subscribe, share any other thoughts that you have about what you'd like to see coming up in future waves. In fact, we may have a almost a part two of our what's next mm -hmm. video coming up soon because we've we've heard from several of you who would like to see a little bit more on that, especially since some of the things that had been suggested in that video have since come out. Yeah. So we have, we have some thoughts on that. We'll be sharing that with you very, very soon. So keep an eye out for all of that, and we will catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one, guys.